Hi everyone. So today we are going to present our project on the course subject of industry design, BMD 3804, a design of a rescue bag or kit for fire disasters become our topic as we propose. Before that, let me introduce myself and my team members. My name is Lim Kenway, and the next member is Muhammad Nazrin bin Zakaria, and last member is No Najiha binti Abdul Kadir. Okay, so this is our group organization chart. Muhammad Nazrin was our team leaders, and below involved two of members, who are No Najiha and me, Lim Kenway. Next is the team members' job scope. Muhammad Nazrin Zakaria plays a role as a leader and his job scope is to proofread documents and input obtained for the project, conduct online meetings if necessary, and assign tasks and monitor the work progress. Next member is No Najiha and her job scope is to conduct the most documentation of the project and the design project poster. The last member is Lim Kenway and I will conduct the product design through SOLIDWORKS software conduct a survey for data needed as input for the project and outsource relevant data to use for the project. So this is our progress gun chart from week 1 to week 14. What we have a plan and carry out will be marked inside the chart such as the project selection, data collection, carry out analysis and getting the result, concept design startup, 3D monitoring, rendering and the project documentation. So here is the background of our project. First, our team aims to design a rescue kit or bag which can be very useful in any fire disaster. Second, it can be used while the fire incident happens and it can be used even after the fire incident happens. Third, it contains a lot of useful kits and first aid which can assist anyone. And lastly, we design the bag accordingly to the position map and the voice of the customer. Next is the problem statement of the project. Here have been listed four of the problems. First is the bulky size or a heavy rescue bag. Second, lack of specific items according to the fire solution. Third, items are difficult to remove due to the compartment's complicated layout. And lastly, Getting the bag in a smoke field via suite is difficult. So here is our project aims and objective. The first is to create a new design for a rescue bag, pack or kit that is appropriate for a fire emergency. Second, to match the product to the demands of the customers. And lastly, to generate a three-dimensional 3D design and rendering of the final product. From our research, there are various types and design for this particular rescue bag or kit in the market. From the marketing research, we gain knowledge and could learn design concept which could help us to create a new product from an existing product. Moreover, this result could also lead to the development of scientific and mechanical concept and also principle. All the figures show the existing product in the market. This is the specification analysis that our team has begun for the emergency fire disaster kit. From this analysis, we can find out the item in the bag. The example given has various types of things like scissor, bandage, triangle bandage, bottle, alcohol bag, cotton, and plastic bag. Features for this uh, Jacketon brand also come with more slot and space. The material used was waterproof. All the tables show the specification analysis that has been done for the fire disaster kit. Position maps show where the existing products are positioned in our market. From the position map, people from enterprise can decide where they will uh, place the product in the market. In another word, position map 
called as the diagrammatic technique used to place product relative to one another along two or more axes. This is the diagrammatic technique used for marketer who attempt to visually display the perception of customers of potential customer. The position of a product is influenced by customer perception rather than by those of businesses. The table below shows the different type of rescue kit that have in our market. From all the analysis, our team create a questionnaire and distribute it to students and staff to fill out. This analysis is done to determine which type of rescue kit they want and what features and items they want to be placed in the rescue kit. After doing the question analysis, our team can know that most customers want a backpack as a rescue kit that is medium in size and use strain oxford material. From this analysis, we also need to create a bag with many slots and space to load more items inside. So, I will talk about our project design direction where we have four criteria which are appearance, durability, flexibility and space. For appearance, it's the simplest but latest version of backpack design that follows the current trend and cannot be found in the market. Next is the durability where it meets high security and function design without the need for additional maintenance. Then the third one is flexibility where we can choose the way to lift the bag either by your back or just lifting by your hands or even sleep. And last but not least is the space or compartment. We tend to provide a bag with many compartments for appropriate storage capacity. The next slide is about the method of development. Our team used the brainstorming method to get a clear flow path for this project. In this brainstorming method, we expand the mind map into four sections where it consists of the purpose of the project, what kind of issue that we are facing, and then the strategy to overcome the issue, and lastly, by developing the concept design. So, out of nine sketches, we pick the three best sketches that we are close to what the respondent asked from the Google Form result. So, this is the first sketches that we were designed with many specific compartments to provide appropriate storage capacity. The second sketch is designed with ergonomic criteria for the user comfortably carry the bag. In any emergency situation, coming down and getting the right thing is very difficult to handle. Unfortunately, this bag is already filled with many useful tools and kits to help the user. Next are the third idea sketches. This backpack is designed with high durability material and many specific compartments for the user's safety. Many types of the tools and kits can be filled in the bag. With its red color, it shows the purpose of the bag, which is for emergency situation, especially fire incidents. In this slide shows the path method that our team has been using to consider many things before designing the best concept for the safety bag or kit. As you can see, we consider the criteria that we picked from the questionnaire because the result is very connected to choose the best alternative concept. Okay, so here is the first concept design of the rescue bag through the 3D modeling. The bag was totally in yellow color, which is brighter and it is easier to find when the user was in a smoky fire station. Besides that, the bag can be opened into two big pockets whereby it can place a lot of the rescue tools and items inside it. Besides, the bag has four small pockets where the user can place the small rescue tool such as a hook, knife, flashlight, and so on. Next is the 3D modeling for the rescue bag of Concept C. The bag was totally in orange color which also has a brighter color whereby the user can more easily find it in the smoky fire station. 
The bag was in both types, but it can store a lot of rescue tools and items. Behind the bag have implemented a more thick sponge, which can reduce the back pain of the user. And the last 3D model is Concept 7 of the rescue bag. The color of the bag was a totally red color, which can attract the person more alert in an emergency station. On the front of the bag was added a reflected strip that can be found easily with torchlight. The compartment of the bag was custom made, whereby the item just need to snap fit into the slot to avoid it easily falling out. So here is the first concept rescue bag rendering inside the living room, back of the apartment. Next is the concept 6 rendering of the rescue bag that have been placed beside the window on the height floor. And lastly is the concept 7 rendering of the rescue bag. The bag was placed on a small table in an apartment living room. Next, I will talk about the poster. This is the team's poster design planning, which consists of the three best sketches with the method to develop the design concept. In this poster, besides the basic information, our team also includes the three design hand sketches, the position map, the 3D modeling, and the 3D rendering. Next is the first poster design, where we named the first pack the Portative Rescue Kit because of the specific compartment and its portable space which is very useful to the user. The second poster design is named Ultimate Aid due to its one and only purpose which is to aid the user in an emergency situation. Our last poster design is called Medic Kit due to the design which is for medical purpose and it's very unique design because it is also suitable for other emergency situations especially for fire emergency situation so in a conclusion our team is creating a new design for a rescue kit which is for the fire emergency and also matching with our customer demand next the emergency relief package should be compact and easy to carry other than that the design that our team prepared is very detailed which produce a high quality rendering result. Last but not least, our team finds a very useful knowledge from applying many methods, tools and skills to complete this report. That is all from us. Thank you so much.